Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Danganronpa Part 42. In the previous video, we met up with everyone in the dining hall and we went over what we all found on the fifth floor. Then uh, Kyoko got put into exile because she wouldn't tell us about her past and we talked to her in the bathhouse. She confirmed that she broke into the headmaster's quarters, which is how she has secret information and uh we haven't seen her since let's uh let's go eat some food and there were there were many kyoko death flags which is very scary what? especially considering that she's not here right now please don't kill kyoko it's all i ask of you kill anyone else kill us well don't kill us actually you're one minute late makoto how do you explain this are you fucking taka did his ghost uh, possess you? S sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that that is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> huh? I, I just thought. I mean, since a day has passed, maybe I had reset. Huh? So, so sorry, what? sorry. Please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign on my neck that says "Bad Girl" and I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. Uh. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> Thank you, I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If you do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. <sighs> it's no use, she's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. No... Please. We need her. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, a, a date, or for your wedding, or anything. Um. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. Or she's dead. That's also a, a, a sad option. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so. You know? Oh, yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, you looking for Miss uh, Kirigiri? What? What? What do you want now? Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm right, I'm right. You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do, do you know where she is? Who? Well, it is hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? What? Is it, it's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and then ain't some indie bullcrap? I, I, I agree. This is very suspicious. I, I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changed the subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Did you even write about that? Hey! Hey! Hey, so it was all right. You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious. Hmm. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, uh, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. Well. You know? She's either in the bathhouse or she could be in the secret room. That's possible. Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how do you suggest we approach this, that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Yoko must use that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? Where could it be? I spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. We're not gonna look? What? Breakfast didn't help me feel any more beat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Dude, we don't need free time. We need find Kyoko. Make sure she's not murdered time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check the secret room. Screw you guys. Anything in the in the secret room? 
This is where the bathroom cleaning spas are stored. It also leads to the secret room. I should probably avoid going in and out of there too much. She could be dead in there, dude. Well, fine. I guess we'll... I guess we'll keep banging out uh, Tagami. Um, where is he at? Yeah, they're all on the fifth floor. Are yeah, they in the garden? Do we have it? Actually, what we should do is we should go turn in our, our coins. Because I don't know if we have anything for him. Get me out of here. Here's what we do. Since, well, it doesn't take that long since we have to put him like 10 or 15 in at, at a time. So we'll do it on screen, I guess. Take me to wherever it is. There we go. I can't believe I didn't know about the run for like 30 videos. Absolutely, give it a shot. Even though, really, we could probably, like... I mean, since repeats aren't really that big of a deal... Like, if anything, repeats are kind of good for us, because at least we know... ...who those work for. Because it's not like we're going to get all the presents anyway. Actually, we will pause, because this is boring as shit. Um, see you on a second. All right, we're back. Um, we got stuff. I don't know really what we got, but uh, rose hip tea. We got some tea. That, that's cool. It's got elegance to it. Maybe our boy Tagami's a big tea fan. I could see that being a thing. Um, you think he wants a kitten hair clip? Could 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 be. Never know. Um, a G slick, a G sick. Uh, most people consider it a throwaway watch to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. Oh, he probably wants some uh, some bunny earmuffs. One of the most popular items from gothetic Lolita designer, Eno Bauer. What? We should totally give fucking Tagami a thong. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Um, I feel like we got something else that was new phone that for some unknown reason doesn't let you hear the other person on the end and doesn't let them hear you. That's probably something for Hero. Fortunately, we didn't get a repeat of any of the stuff we know that works. I think he likes math. A mature game. Oh, no. But you could give him a flashlight. Uh, nothing jumps out at me as like good I think he wants an altar lump we'll probably try the tea I don't know he's like refined and shit where is he just give me your deepest darkest secret so we can honestly I don't want to talk to anybody else because well, Kyoko and Hino we've already finished so there's just Toko and Hiro oh god I have no clue I mean, if we were to finish Tagami here, which I don't think we will, because I think we've only talked to him, like, twice. I guess it would probably be Hero. I think we'd, we'd have to then talk to Hero. What? What, did you need something? Uh, should I talk to... Yeah. That's fine. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Byakuya. We, we grew closer. Would you like... Uh, you want some tea, dude? Fine, I'll take it. I hope you appreciate this. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Huh? What? It's a proverb. It means you can only attain... If you can only obtain something inferior, that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what it means, but so what? So, in other words... Put another way, if all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far away. Hmm. Makoto, be my secretary. What? <laughs> what? This feels like a fanfic that uh, Hifumi would have written right now. Hmm. A useless commoner like you could never hope to earn more than, say, like, $100,000 a year. You're not wrong. But as my secretary, you'd be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. 
In honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply your already impossible expectations by, oh, 5.5? $100,000? You mean $550,000? That's like board member money. What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be a mere servant. But at some point, I would want you to become an actual assistant, taking the lead on important projects. Assuming you produce successful results, you could even become a corp... Shit, dude. Fucking go for it, Makoto, <laughs> if you make it out of here. So, in other words... And we, we've already put up for... We put up with Togami for free. We may as well put up with him and get paid for it. You have no reason to refuse. This is also sudden. I don't get why, but he seems so serious about it. Still, uh... Sorry, I'm gonna have to say no. I'm trying to give you a chance to enter in the battlefield of life and claim victory. Most commoners will never get that chance. This is a literally once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. So that's it. Are you really so scared of having to fight to compete in order to win? It's not that I'm scared. It's that I want to succeed based on my own effort. I want to find my own battlefield. I don't want to hand it to me. I want to earn it. Ho oh, ho ho. Something Tagami's never experienced in his life. I want to find something that I'm willing to fight and die for. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. You meant what you said earlier. That if you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. I'm glad to see you pass my test. Your test? Naturally. A exactly. I was just testing you. I didn't actually want to be your best friend forever or anything like that. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes you physically ill. Wait, so then... What? The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Byakyo Togami doesn't honor his word. But he'd basically be paying me to do nothing? In a way, I almost regret my decision. Hmm. But I must say, I don't under I just don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and you don't seem to flee for you don't flee from battle either. It's like I said, for me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live, and that means jacking it a lot. Easy enough to say. Hmm. Now you have to enforce your will until the very end. Hmm. If you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. And that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, absolutely. I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. Oh, we're, we're done, I think. No, 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 that, that's a different achievement. We got something for, like, skill points, I think. Hmm. I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Um, well, let's go spread the sickness to everybody else, right? That's how this works. So, what, what, is, what is our report card for on Tagami? It's not finished, I don't think. Yeah, it's not. So that was our fourth time? The third time? You had... So that's one out of five. How many was Hina? Hina was seven? Oh my god. Okay, so we probably still have two more talky talks with Tagami. Or at least one more. Well, obviously one more, but probably not more than two. Now, where is the Togamers at? And what do we give him as a present? I have no clue. <sighs> hmm. Scurrying around again, huh? Look at it, you makes me physically ill. Can I talk to Bakio for a while? Why not? That's fine. Fine, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know. We totally appreciate it. Try to f well, granted, I guess we should. It's good that we didn't hang out with Sakura, considering she got killed instantly after we thought about doing it. Um, so we didn't waste our time there. But we we should have actually. I would have. Ra I would have liked to have done Sakura's uh interactions. Yaki and I grew a little closer today. Absolutely. I have no fucking clue. We got no more tea. We got no legendary artifacts. I think he wants a cheap... He definitely wants the bunny earmuffs. None of this... I think he wants like a like a sword. It can't... In other words, totally useless. Okay. Maybe not that. Not giving him a whip. I don't know, like, don't, like, business people sometimes have, like, swords and shit? Got a Mr. Fastball. Got an antique doll. I mean, 
Is there that much difference between a crystal skull and an antique doll? Tips and tips. What is this again? A kid's toy? A vice? Small light? A meteorite arrowhead? There, sure, take that. No, I would expect something a little nicer, but that's fine. You get an F plus, you pass, but barely. I got the impression that he liked it. That's good. How do you still not understand? Understand what? Hmm. I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake. But it's all amounted to nothing. I simply have nothing to talk about. Not possible. We could talk for forever in a day, and I would gain nothing from it. But the more we come to understand each other, you and I will never understand each other. But I am a friendship, dude. We live in different worlds. Our ways of life, our ways of thinking are totally incompatible. You're a loser, so go ahead and live your loser life. Make a bunch of loser friends. Then together you can lick each other's loser wounds. You don't have to keep saying loser. That's enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on winning. That's right. That's one thing that will never change. Having to win all the time? Doesn't that make your life kind of hard? Hmm. Such is the fate of the Chosen. The Chosen? Listen, I didn't mean to ask you. You keep talking about the Chosen. What does that mean exactly? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than how I'd normally think of it. That's fine. Fine, if I'm going to waste my time with you anyway, I may as well explain this one last thing. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent progeny. There's a story behind that? So, in other words... Well, you see, I was born and my parents were billionaires, so therefore I am a billionaire. The story is over. It has to do with the secrets of the Tagami family's prosperity. Our success, for the success comes from our family's rather peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar inheritance? What do you mean? Hmm. See, our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over in order to bear as many children as possible. All over the world? Hmm. And yeah, then they make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. I mean, it's not... I mean, that's just what the Ottomans did. It's not that unique. And whoever it is earns the right to become the next head of the family. You mean you have to fight your own brothers and sisters? That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. When all was said and done, only one was still standing, the youngest brother, me. Like, did you murder them? <laughs> in the entire history of the Tagami family, the youngest male had never won. Jeez, that sounds brutal. I can't even imagine something like that. What? So now do you understand? So you've kind of like been in this game before is what you're saying. I won my title in open combat. That is how I became the ultimate affluent progeny. I was not born into greatness. I had to earn it. In other words... Well, technically, yes, you were born into it. You wouldn't have had that opportunity if you weren't born into the family. It's not like you were just some random dude picked up off the street. It's 100% has to do with your birth. You, not, you know, even if you did earn it from there, like... You still got lucky. Put my life on the line and I'd earn the right to be called the Chosen. Put your life on the line, then what about your siblings? Dead. Dead? Stop talking. I don't mean that literally, of course. They became dead to the family, unfit for the name of Togami. <laughs> of course, for them, it really is like death. They're forced to become one of the 99%. One of you. It must have been really hard, right? Hmm. You can't even imagine, which is why the survivor is recognized as the Chosen. Whenever you take over the head of the family or as the head of the family, all the weight of the family comes to rest on your shoulders. So in other words... That is how dedicated I am. I'm forever dedicated to keep on winning. So I shall. Hmm. Otherwise, I would feel only pity for those that are already defeated. Gakia pretty much said he cares the weight of always having a win. Winning comes natural to him. <laughs> I'll say at this point is that I'm glad I'm going to win this game too. It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. Don't make me repeat myself. And in the end, I will stand victorious. I won't lose to the Mastermind or you or anyone else. Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live and I will win. In the name of my family. As long as my name is Byakuya Togami. The finality of a statement left no room for doubt or question. Nobody but Byakuya could talk that way and sound so convincing. But because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. At the same time, I feel like I understand him that much more. At least I think I do. Goodbye. Now let me be crystal clear. We don't have anything to talk about. Do not come to me like this again. Goodbye, loser. Okay, I can't imagine any way Byaki and I could ever become friends in this lifetime. Alright, there we go. Now we're done with him. Our skill points has increased. Once Byaki was gone, I went back to my room. Okay. Well, we never have to talk to him again, which is nice. 
And I mean, usually we get three periods of free time per chapter, right? So we might get one more. Uh, that's a hard decision. Toko or Hero? I really don't like Toko, but I really don't want to talk to Hero. <laughs> feel kind of dizzy. Like, I feel like I would rather know more about Toko than I would rather know more about Hero. If that makes any sense. Now, I wish we could talk to fucking other Toko. That'd be an interesting conversation. I can't help it. I need sleep. My time wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed. I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. Within that dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice? So familiar. It's your voice, dumbass. It's... I... understand. It's me. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. Um, what? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Let's not listen to your crazy dreams, Makoto. I'm like really worried we're gonna get stabbed off screen. My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? Um. Don't don't like that. <gasps> You're just, uh, playing around. Big prank, right? Is that our knife? I think that's our knife. <sighs> what? Mm -hmm. Huh. So, that mask, something that just kind of, I noticed. Have we ever seen, like, I don't know. It kind of has, like, a similar, like, the outfit looks a little similar to Makoto's outfit. Like, we know his hood kind of has, like, red markings on it and everything. We haven't really ever seen him wearing the hoodie other than in that very first scene. Where you see, like, him from the back and... I don't know. Kyoko? What the... What did you... Okay, this is unbelievably creepy. What did you say? What? There's a bird? I'm kind of lost. Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending, happy, day, happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities. Abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Hmm. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful...
beautiful day. I don't know why. Just for some reason, I feel so suspicious of Makoto's hood, hoodie all of a sudden. I don't know. I guess it just like it. It, it kind of evokes a similar feeling for some reason. That the luchador mask and it. Like, what if the hoodie like pulls up and turns into a to a mask and Makoto's dreaming of himself. Took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. I don't have a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way. The pills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. What was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also a dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Because, yeah, see, the, there's zippers. The zipper goes all the way around the thing, like it closes up entirely. That's what that's what was suspicious about it to me. I couldn't really remember until now. Like, a, a hoodie zipper shouldn't be like that unless it's like a full face covering. And you can kind of see it's got like the little red markings like the mask. Came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand. And then... I have to pay it to... I wonder... I hope they show the other person again. Because I would like to investigate the... Their full wardrobe. No, I mean, they've got... They're wearing, like, a lab coat. I guess it's not really that similar. And I look at it. I don't know. I guess it's just like the hoodie seems a little odd that it does that. There was a strange person standing next to my body at bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. Also, check and see if your knife's still there. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with the fever. I was somewhere far away watching my body move on its own, and because of that... I don't remember what really happened, but still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. And after that, things go black. The next thing I remember... Yoko was there, but what would she have been doing in my room? A strange dream. Was it really a dream? I cannot possibly find out either way. Uh, look for the knife, dumbass? Open the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Oh, God. Is Makoto being framed again? Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe? I knew it. I just had a feeling it wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was behind that mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell's going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. I can talk to everyone else about it. Well, let's, let's go to the dining hall. I got a bad feeling that uh, our knife was stolen is going to be used to murder someone, probably Kyoko. I'm in the fr- oh god, no one's hey, here. Makoto. Oh no. The frame Makoto strat has failed already once, so maybe they won't go for it again. Ah, oh, Makoto, yeah, that's Makoto, sure as sky's blue. Hey, Hina. Um... You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? Because, I mean... Yeah, after, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know... Nobody? I can think of at least two who would gladly kill Makoto. So anyway, what were you doing? I mean, granted, actually three, because Hina, you actually did try and kill us. Um, I mean, indirectly, but we still would have died all the same. I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? Mm. Oh, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. 
Let's go meet up with everyone else and they can tell you all about it. Wait, so is everyone waiting somewhere? That's right. Yeah, we all stayed up stayed up the whole night. The whole night. <laughs> I lost a rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for okay. everyone. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay. <laughs> so you're telling me that as soon as Makoto's gone, everyone stays up all night and has a great slumber party or something? Everyone has a freaking all night banger? As soon as Makoto's gone? I see how it is. We're not wanted here. I guess we could just teleport over there, but it's going to be slightly easier to just run, I think. Just because the menus are a little annoying to navigate. Okay, please everyone be in there. You said everyone, right? That means includes. Uh, what what was that on the ground? I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Huh? Oh, hey, Makoto. Oh, this is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? You need to show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night when you slept in a, like a baby in your bed? Well, I mean, you guys could have gone to sleep. And then I noticed. Oh, fuck. They form a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I'd cried out. Oh, Okay. Oh, it's it's not it's not Kyoko. That's good. Right out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Well, aren't there a bunch of them? Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. Hmm. Relax. There's no danger. You say that, but what what are you guys doing? Remember the last person who touched him got fucking impaled? In this room? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Yakya found this little fellow laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance, and also I was going to betray you all. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, he didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could come take a look. But even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the assembly process. <laughs> it was Master Stroke of Genius a chance to find out what made Monokuma tech. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote, remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, uh, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. Granted, we, none of us know anything about machines, so... So he didn't break down? So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. Can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? They were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? So who was that if not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set on a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. Hey, guys. I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. I, I just found something. What is that? Uh... It's... Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A b, b bomb oh. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Uh, um, Roger that. Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden, sudden movements and it's sure to go off. What? What? Uh, my motion sensor? Serious? I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Oh. I don't see what being a man has to do with, you know, he's holding a bomb that he'd explode him. I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. Oh, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. This century is just getting started. Don't call the race already. <laughs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not going to do anyone any good. Um. Oh, yeah. Good call. You could blow a hole well, in the school and get out of here. 
Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at this point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the Mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could it have been when I thought about it? Couldn't help but think back to the night before. He an attack with that mass figure. Just a second. Uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't huh us. Did you hear a thing we said? Nah, not really. We've kind of learned to not pay attention to you guys. We only really listen when Kyoko's talking, if I'm being honest. Huh? So that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain-dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? I don't know, eat breakfast? <laughs> well, and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. Try and uncover the Mastermind's identity? We're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Um, Been there, done that? Really? Naturally. Since their Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there, what? if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. What the heck? Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have... You tried to kill all of us, Hina. Shut up. Come on. So what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then we're going to go break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> she'll she'll follow him anywhere. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? Uh, people of Earth, give me your energy. I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. Uh, people of the universe, lend me your energy. We've each found determination in our own ways, and we were ready. Left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Alrighty. Well, we are going to have to stop here because I am out of time to record for today. And, well, the video is also at a good good stopping point. So in the next video, we'll go uh, see what's going on in the headmaster's room and hope we don't find Kyoko's dead body. I'm ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.